Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, Sharona Style, Sino Filing, Titan Season 4 news. Yay. So, Titans. Oh, man. Let's geek about it for a scant few minutes. Now, Season 4 has brought us news that there's uh, three new villains cast for the season. And while on the surface of it, it's like some people we actually kind of want to see a little bit of what in the world gives any of us who have been watching the show and following the show any sort of faith, confidence, assurance that they will be handled with any sort of skill or satisfaction to the viewer because largely to this point the show has been underwhelming and just written just just so stupidly plotted out and written and acted in a lot of cases it's just but here we are season four season three uh, had the team getting into a motorhome to go back to California. Tim Drake was with them because his parents, after seeing him one, do one spin kick that he saw on YouTube, even though they're so firmly against him becoming a vigilante, they see him doing that and he's like, wow, you deserve to be a vigilante. Go with them. Jason goes off to do whatever, because that whole, don't get me started on that. Donna goes off to do stuff. Again, don't get me started on how stupid her the entire involvement in the last season was. Here we are. The show has cast Joseph Morgan, Franca Potenti, and Lisa M. Balavanar uh, to play the new villains. Morgan will star as Sebastian Blood, Brother Blood, who's a pretty interesting character, I like to think, and it would be interesting to kind of see what he brings to the show. In uh, the show, he's described as introverted and intelligent with a hidden, darker nature, whatever that means. Patente is playing Mae Bennett, Mother Mayhem, one of the Church of Blood's highest ranking members. She is a predator in human form with an unfettered belief in her mission in the world. In the comics, Mae was also the mother of Sebastian Blood the Ninth. Morgan and Patente will be series regulars in the show, while Am Balavanar will be a recurring character as Jinx. Now, Jinx was introduced in the mid-80s. She's part of the Fearsome Five. She could command elements and manipulate magical energy. On Titan, she's described as a quick-witted criminal loner and a master of dark magic with a joy for, of, for manipulating others and creating chaos while doing it. So, like I said, we've got three new villains. Uh, cool. It's just the way that they're, everything boils down to the way that they're handled and how they stick the landing because this show thus far in season one, season two, season three has not stuck the landing in my opinion at any point in time. They've had just great potential. Titans itself is just great potential. A lot of people are tuning in just to see the Titans. A lot of people are just hate watching the show or just because they just want to see Titans something because they like the characters. They like your Nightwing and your Raven and your Beast Boy who does absolutely nothing so we're stuck with this. This is what we've got. And they know that, and they know that they can just, you know, spoon feed us crap. And there's so many people that will just lap it up willingly, eagerly, and they can just do whatever they want because it's not going to matter at this point. So that's how it is. As I said, it, this could be maybe they, as we know, these shows are shot all at once, they're in the can all at once before they drop the first episode. So they're not like broadcast TV shows where they can take real-time criticism and maybe apply it to future scripts. No, everything's been done. So I'm hoping and praying to every deity that I know that maybe they just took some time to just really take an honest assessment of themselves and the quality of shows that they've been putting out, that they've looked online and not just seeing the people that are so desperate for live action, you know, iterations of their favorite combo characters and look to people who are actually um, not just uh, flaming for flame's sake or just throwing out some stupid um, rhetoric, some biased, uh, sexist, whatever sort of racist, misogynist rhetoric and just stay away from the, the troll stuff, but actually looks for people who are actually giving them honest, critical feedback on what they're doing, what they're presenting. And I'm hoping they take that, they look at that, they examine it, and they take a look in the mirror and say, you know what, we could be better. And they're actually better. Will that happen? I have zero faith that that actually happens because I have three seasons of episodes that shows me that will not happen. So 
Titans, writers, producers, actors, people involved in the show, the ball is in your court to actually deliver a good, successful season of the Titans, which you have not done to this point, and you've had three tries. This is your fourth try. Please get it right. Anyway, those are some of my thoughts on it, scattered as they often are. What do you guys either think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Until next time, let us geek.